Hello everybody, here we are in the great northeast doing a final portion of our testing. We have everything set up. Our ground station has acquired satellites, steady green indicator light. We have our controller on. Our aircraft is on, props off. We're in class D airspace without authorization, so we will not be flying. But if you take a look at our control here and with the RTK satellite status up, you'll notice that we have position on both the aircraft and the base station. Um, when I initially turned it on, I did not have position, and this was due to the fact that the orientation and positioning buttons uh, were not enabled. Um, simply enabled those, and it gave us our position. So you'll notice um, the difference in the altitude looks like what 213.9, 215.2, and that's pretty accurate. It's about a six foot change in elevation between the aircraft and the top of the antenna. So that all looks real. Um, we would be able to power on. So you do see that. So we're ready to rock and roll here. Uh, we can just turn that off and you're back to your fly mode. When you want to see your RTK status, just hit the satellite icon and that brings that up on your screen. So very happy everything worked out here for the first time. Um, it's not always the case as we all know when dealing with uh, the, these highly technical instruments. But uh, this time it did work. So if you have any questions, give us a shout. Send us an email. And uh, we really appreciate you watching. This is Ed and his loyal subject Duke. Signing off from In Sky Aerial Services. Thanks for watching.